Hey folks, Sylvius here. <clears throat> Back on Galactic Save. You'll notice if you look over to the side, my little overlay isn't there. And it won't be for the foreseeable future in Galactic Save. Because I realized, okay, so I mean, I don't know if I've mentioned this in my Galactic Civ playthroughs or not, but I have like two different programs. I actually have to like buy a monthly license for them. Uh, the company is called like Xsplit, I think. Um, and the, the two programs are the Xsplit Gamecaster and the Xsplit Broadcaster. Um, it's an interesting looking planet for sure. What's food distribution? Food. Plus two, food, 10%. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Whatever. I mean, not like I'm going to use that. Okay. And there's nothing to build on this planet, so... Research project. So anyway, the, um, the broadcaster is more or less for, um, like, just recording your screen, whereas the gamecaster kind of, like, integrates itself into the game and records the game content. The broadcaster can kind of do that, but apparently it doesn't do it as well. The broadcaster is good though because it's what allows me to put the overlay on, resize the screen, um, do like fade in and fade out, and all that kind of jazz. Basic factory. Um, research project then. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Where's Titan? Titan? Okay, Titan already has a shipyard. Good to know. Um, so yeah, the game caster is nice for a lot of the situations where, I'm sorry, the broadcaster is nice, where, like, when I was doing Flash games, where there wasn't an actual game inside of it that I could, uh, directly copy in that sense. Um, likewise, when I do my Exile 3 Let's Plays, uh, same kind of situation. Uh, unfortunately, the game caster seems to have a problem with, like, 3D graphics, so for the most part, while I was here, I didn't have a problem... Uh, but when I was in the ship builder, which just reminded me I'm supposed to be building ships right now. But anyway, while I was in the ship builder... Command... Guard. Upgrade Starbase. This is Viator Starbase? I don't know where the Viator Starbase is. What is this? An economic Starbase? It is close enough to the combat zone that I think I should put some defenses on it still. By establishing fixed trading hubs and encouraging the markets which develop around them, we stand to profit handsomely. The wealth of the entire galactic community will flow through our hands. Our ever so slightly sticky hands. Well, good for them. Mm. Industrial expertise? That sounds pretty good. Let's go with industrial expertise. So, yeah, long story short is the broadcaster has issues with the ship design thing, and also in DDO, just, you know, just doesn't run DDO well in the first place. So, all that considered, um, I decided to swap to the gamecaster for DDO, which works much better and made the videos way better. And then since there was issues here, and I don't think the overlay is ultra important in my Galactic Save Let's Plays anyway, so I just went with the gamecaster. Let's destroy that and put the food distribution center there. And then we'll put a Xeno farm there. And destroy that. And put a hospital. I should have probably should have had that hospital prioritized, huh? What's the current population? Yeah. Prioritize the the hospital. Alright, at this point we are going to design our new classes of ships. Get rid of the carrier here. Obsolete that crap. Alright. New design. So I've got up to large plus the cargo holes that I guess are the other things. What's that? Base cost. Base capacity. Interesting. Base hit points. Base hit points. Alright, well let's start with our large class ships. I kind of like this one. I do kind of like this one. Alright. We'll make some minor uh, adjustments to it. 
go. Yeah. I wish I could get it on that. There we go. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, come on. Ah, uh, uh, eh, there we go. I like it. What's this? Well, this obviously needs to be smaller. Still smaller. How about now? Hmm. No. It's too similar to what's already on the front. But maybe I'll consider it for a different one in the future. Okay, again, smaller. Not sure why the pieces default to such a scale where they're, like, massive compared to what's already on the ship. Or actually, they're just massive compared to what the ship actually is. Okay. I like it. We're going with it. We're done here. So this is a large class ship. We want hyper warp. Right? Drive. Alright, wait. I want moves. Okay, yeah. The better ones are at the bottom. You know, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. What's the move? Six on that one? Six on that one. Requires Prometheum, but whatever. So, eight, six. <laughs> How much Prometheum do I have? Not enough to rely on the that one, for sure. Even though it's way better of an option. Hmm. Makes it look like the engines are weapons. I like that. Where else can we go? Maybe just uh, right in like top and the bottom. Nope. Right there. Ah. It duplicated them automatically. Sometimes I'm not happy with that. I'm sure there's a way for me to turn that off, but it's whatever. I sort of don't care enough to figure it out. All right. I feel like that might be more engine than I need. In fact, I think it might be more engine than I need. I'm gonna kill these ones. What's the speed of this ship? 26? Yeah, I feel like 26 is probably sufficient. I don't know. Um, what's this do? Makes the ship more maneuverable in battles. I'm not really sure exactly what that means, but we'll put one of them on. Uh, I would like to, at least. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Good enough. You know what, I kinda like that too. All right. Weapons. Prototype Illyrium Beam. Prototype Antimatter Missiles. Um, Durantium Driver. Durantium Driver. Oh, look at that, I've got like, that's kinda neat. It's still, it's so irritating to me that the ones that require stuff are so much better than the ones that don't. I mean, I guess that's like the point, but still. It's irritating to me. How much do these guys even weigh? Um, mass? Oh, okay, not a lot at all. Nice. Although, it seems like they're gonna cost a Fun. Come on. How about... I don't even know where that actually is. There we go. Let's make sure we have uh, the other stuff. Alright, armor we don't need. Force fields we do, though. Is 
did that go? Okay, huh, interesting. I figured that was gonna be uh, like a double on the top and the bottom, but nope. All right, so we've got shields. I feel like at least one point defense is probably a safe option. And what do we got over here? Modules, life support. We will put a life support module on. Sensors, no. Repair. Um, yeah, we'll put a repair. Wow. Repair module's huge. Eh, I don't like that. Let's put the structural repair thingy somewhere else, maybe. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Rapid rechargers. Fire rate, but lowers accuracy. Rapid reload. Kinetic accelerator. Increase their range. Armor piercing. Nobody has armor, so I think that's fine. Carries two fast and deadly assault fighters. How much is that weigh? Um, wow. Okay, that weighs a lot. <laughs> wow. We don't need cargo or construction, survey modules, no. So the question is, I don't think I need a range increase because I'm not really sure how effective that is. The rapid reload, though, sounds like a pretty solid option. And it doesn't weigh that much, so I am thinking I'm going to put this on there. Alright, and armor piercing we don't need. Now what do we got over here? Shield projecting generates a basic shield system for all ships in the fleet. Increase the shield strength of all ships in the fleet. Okay, what did I... Did I not notice the difference there? Support, they both weigh 15. Fortitude 2, value. Fortitude, okay. It just seems like that one's better then. I'm, I'm a little confused what those mean. Inertial dampeners. Increase damage done by all kinetic weapons in fleet. Sublate. Increase the tactical speed of all ships. Increase the move of all ships in fleet. Static field module. Increase the range. Durantium hull reinforcement. Increase the hit points of ship, but require ah, we don't want that then. All right. So in this case, uh, what are my shield power? Okay, my shield power is kind of massive. So it's just gonna put more weapons on it at this point. So you can never have too many weapons, folks. Well, I suppose you can when you can't afford to make the ship anymore. Which is like a legitimate concern I'm having. Come on. Come on. Dude, just put it somewhere at this point. I don't care where. Um. No. How about now? There? Now, if I only I could actually get it on the spot, I'm trying to put it. That's two kind of close to each other, but I don't care. We'll just roll with it. And that one didn't copy to this side? Why not? And one more right here in the center. Can I put one more? Perfect. Perfect. Alright, now where do I name this ship? Options? I don't want any of that. Okay. So, save. Alright, what are we going to call this? Uh, we'll just call this the battleship. We'll be simple. Battleship. And we'll just keep it as what it is. Uh, roll capital. Capital ships are the steel heart of your fleet. They will target any ship that comes in range with the primary goal of cutting to the heart of... Okay. So we have a battleship. We're also going to build what I'm going to call a... Uh, like, command ship. Eh. Let's go with this one for my command ship. I did want to use this piece previously, so let's use it now.
Okay. Come on, you can do it. Hmm, I don't like that piece. Never mind. It's not what I thought it was. Maybe it was this piece? Was this the piece I wanted to use? This might have been the piece. No, that's the same piece. Let's make this one a little bit smaller, and then we'll put it right here on the side. That look, I'm okay with that. No, nope, don't like that. What else we got? Nope. What's this? Nope. This. There we go. Nope. Eh. People are killing me. What's this module? No, I don't like that either. This piece looks kind of like command shipishy. Hmm. And kind of stupid. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay. The ship is just staying the way it is at this point. I'm going to try one more piece, and then if I don't like it, I'm just going to give up. Make this smaller. And right there. Alright, I kind of like this piece. Good, you know what? I like that. Alright, we're going to put... We're going to try one more piece now. This one, though, I think, is the one I want. Oh, wait. Never mind. This one, then. Shrink it a little bit. Come on. Okay, you know what? We're going with this. Alright, so this is going to be my command ship. I'm not going to build a lot of these, because they're going to have mostly support modules. Um... Unfortunately, I don't remember how many engines I put on my last ship. So I don't know how fast they can go. Um, ship, where am I seeing speed? Moves 14? Okay, I know it had more than 14. Alright, I think I need one more. Yeah, 26.4 was the speed. Okay. Inertial accelerator we'll throw on there. If we can. No, actually, we're not going to put that on there. And now I'm going to put all the various uh, support things. Field augmentation array. Um, inertial dampeners. Oh, come on. Crap is annoying. Try this again. Immer inertial dampeners. There you go. So wait, these two things do the same? Come on. You can do it. There we go. Increase the tactical speed of all ships in the fleet. Yeah, we'll do that. Increase the range. We're not going to do with that, but we will go with the wake generator. Alright, and then... We do need a life support. We will put sensors on this ship. Structural enhancement. Allow the ship to repair itself. Um, we are going to throw that on there. Actually, wait, we're going to hold on that. Because I want the, um... I thought I saw something that, like, repairs allied ships. Did I miss that? Is that over here, maybe? Structural enhancement field? Slowly repairs all ships. Yeah, that's the one I want. Uh, we'll put that... Right there. Right there. There we go. Alright, in that case... We don't need to repair itself, and there's nothing else I need here. So, we are going to... 
Shields. Force fields. How much are these force fields away? Um, 10? Seriously? They weigh 10? I mean, I did want to put, like, actual weapons on this thing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> maybe I should take some of the stuff off? What do we have on here? Alright, let's... Maybe I should get rid of the tactical speed of all... Because I don't really know what effect tactical speed increase has. So let's get rid of that. I'm gonna just move this to a different location. Increase the damage of all kinetic weapons in the fleet. Damage done by all kinetic weapons in the fleet. Increase shields. How much Illyrium do I have? Because that uses Illyrium. Alright, I think 30 Illyrium is probably okay. That one does require Durantium, though. Okay, wait, how much Durantium do I have? Okay, yeah, we're only gonna use one of these. I didn't realize all these, um, like, team-up things require, uh, supplies. Um, but yeah, we are gonna take the inertial dampeners. Inertial field projectors. We're gonna take that one. There we go. Alright, well that saved me some uh, space, I suppose. And then we're gonna go... Because, I, like I said, I do want weapons on this thing. Alright. Two Graviton Drivers. I feel like I should probably put more on, but I feel like more shields are more important. There we go. Alright, that leaves me with uh, 10 left. How much do these uh, Graviton Drivers? They, they weigh 6. That's a pain. I was thinking about the, um, what's it under here? The thing that increases their speed. But that takes Durantium, never mind. Alright, well, we're just gonna throw a Graviton Driver on it and call it a day. Come on. There we go. And there we go. And I have four left. Oh, wait, no, the mass was three. What was I looking at? The attack. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. Well, silly me. All right, there we go. So this is the uh, command ship. Command ship. Um... Oh man. Being able to like select and delete all this at once would have been nice. And what's support do? I'll attempt to stay out of combat. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Um, in that case, this is a support ship. Support ship. I feel like support has two P's. Right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's one design. Next, we're going to build my carrier. You know, I do kind of like this one. Before I start putting things on it, though, I want to see... Um, uh, assault Carrier Module. Eh, come on. Assault carrier module. Maybe I can put them on the sides or something. There we go. <laughs> I feel like that's not correct. Yeah, I don't think I can put two on. Because I'm not going to have enough space for engines. That's a shame, because I did, I did want to put two on. 
Alright, we're going to actually scrap the design of this until I get another upgrade on, um... Cancel. Until I get another upgrade for, um... Fighter craft. That said, though, we do want to make a medium-sized vessel. Not that one, that's for sure. Eh. I feel like that's what my uh, anti-Altarians look like in the first place. Let's just use this one. Alright, shrink this. Shrinky shrink shrink. I thought that would be a obvious situation where it would auto double, but I guess it's not. Um Shrink. Shrink shrink shrink. Shrink. Mm, shrink more. Okay, good enough. I don't remember if um, the hyper warps are smaller when I put them on smaller ships. Come on, get it. Yeah, there we go. Speed is 26. Okay, but I don't like the look of that. Delete the, delete the, try again. We'll put them right here. And of course you double them there. Yo, you guys are annoying. Come on, there we go. And then I'll just remove this one. Alright. Inertial accelerators. I'm actually going to throw two of these on here. Eh, maybe not. They're kind of heavy. Well, well, we'll see. For now, though, shields. <clears throat> and then weapons. Um, throw one on the back here. Okay, they did double them there for some reason. I'm not really sure what the, like, logic behind it is when they decide that it's, like, they're going to double them up and when they're not. Like, why didn't they double that one? I'll never know, people. I will never know. Alright, I'm going to put another shield. Eh, uh, let's see. Hold on a second here. Rapid recharger? No, 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 no. I want uh, rapid reload. Wait, rapid reload. Okay, rapid reload doesn't require Durantium. Alright, in that case, just more Graviton drivers. Oh, don't know where that just went. <laughs> Try again. Graviton driver. Uh, yeah, I really don't get, like, what determines whether or not it's doubled on each side or not. Um, and then one more. Eh, come on. Just, come on. There we go. Alright, and then this is going to be a cruiser. Cruiser. Uh, interceptor. In battle, interceptors will try to seek out and destroy high-value, low fortitude targets with the primary goal of taking out enemy support ships. Now, assault. Are your sword? Their goal is to dive into the heart of a battle and take out the high-value, high-threat targets such as capital ships. Um. Support. Support ships will attempt to stay out of. No, I already looked at that one. Guardian will defend low fortitude, high-value targets such as support ships. They will never surrender this duty as long as their charges remain. Okay. Escort. We'll try to defend high value ships like capital and support ships. If they have no assets to defend, they will target enemy ships, preferring medium threat ships like assault craft. Let's go with the escort for the cruisers. 
Alright, and then, um... I guess we'll do one smaller type ship. Ugh, I don't like the look of any of these. But that's the one we're gonna go with, alright. Let's try to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, smaller. Smaller. Dude, I don't even know what's like happening here. There's so many things in such a small space. Come on. No, I mean, that looks incredibly awful. <laughs> incredibly awful. Um. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna keep the ship the way it is. Because I can't even tell what's happening with it. So do the warp drives get smaller? They don't appear to. Which is weird. I feel like they should. Because, like... A large ship shouldn't be... Well, no, I guess... I guess warp speed is different from tactical speed. Huh. A smaller ship would have high tactical speed, but not high warp. In fact... Is this even going to be able to function, then? If I have to throw all these warp drives, is it going to be, like, entirely warp drive? Also, this is incredibly annoying. Yeah, I mean, it's going to basically just be... Alright, we're not even going to bother making a smaller ship like that. Okay. Now, where is this? Okay, this place does, in fact, want to start producing warships. We're going to build... <laughs> maybe uh, maybe my ships are a little bit too good. There's a, there's a possibility. So... That is a... Uh... A lot of additional building. I guess that's the downside to uh, what I just did. I don't know, should I redesign these with less warp capacity and then build smaller ones? Well, the Sinita shipyard isn't a great shipyard. At least I don't think. So we're gonna have the Sinita shipyard continue to build builders and then we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Cause like the die. Okay, yeah, this is like a little bit more reasonable, I think. I mean, twelve turns. Well, uh, uh, yeah. We'll just we'll just roll with it. How much firepower does the uh, cruiser have? Why is it not showing up? Okay, so the cruiser does have less firepower and less shields. Yeah, I think I should have maybe put less. Um. Designer, yeah, let's, let's modify these real quick. Uh, how do I edit this design? Oh, come on, is there seriously not a way for me to edit it? Okay, edit this design. Um, where are the hyper warps? Yeah, we're just gonna put two hyper warps on them. Uh, <laughs> and then I'll... <laughs> I will put a thousand more weapons on it instead. Yeah, can never go wrong with more guns. Um, well, I think I will put another um, force field on this too while we're at it. Come on. There we go. All right, and then more guns. <laughs> more and more guns. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And you didn't double there. I, I just, I don't understand that. Like, I don't understand that. Ah, uh, let's go here. All right, we doubled that one at least. Um. How about here? Maybe, maybe. 
Or not, because I can't see what I'm doing. This is kind of a pain, to be honest. Kind of a pain. I like... Come on. There we go. <laughs> and then one more. Uh, I don't even know. Seriously, like, there we go. Alright, this, I mean, this ship's probably gonna take even longer to build now, but whatever. Save. Yes, I would like to override that design. Alright, so the command ship also needs to lose two engines. Okay, two engines lost. Um, in that case, what do I put on the command ship? I feel like more weapons isn't necessary. I'm thinking about losing the, um... No, nah, we'll keep the sensors as they are. I was gonna put a survey module on it, but nah, I changed my mind. We will just go with more weapons, I think? No, nah, let's go with, um... I think I want more shields. Because it's important that the command ship stays alive. Or you know what I could put on it, maybe? How much is a... Does a... Assault carrier module... Oh, 70. Never mind. Never mind. Eh. Well, now I'm a little torn. Eh, whatever. Go with more shields. Alright, so that leaves me at 20 left. Let's put another thing of shields on. Oh, I hate you when you don't double them. Just always double them. And then, alright, so I'll put three more weapon systems down. One. Good, you doubled that one. Two. And three. Alright. Save it? Yes. And then the cruiser needs to be updated too. User design. This video is uh, now way, 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 way longer. Kill that one. Not that. That. There we go. Um... Let's put another force field on it. Or two. Alright, that's good. And then we'll load up with weapons. And... Ugh, it didn't double that one. Why? There we go. Good enough. Alright. And then we got the cruiser. Yes, all right. They take so long to build. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, edit sponsors. All right, what is this? Is Thorn One working on this? And it sponsors. Alright, yeah. Thorn. Done. It's still gonna take, like, forever to build a single ship, but whatever. That's how you know your ships are good, when it takes a decade to build them. Alright, idle ship. <laughs> I need to, uh invest in increases to my um, my manufacturing capacity for sure at this point. 
Irelia Starbase? I don't know. Just, just go there. I don't care. Recreation Center, Assault Fighters. There we go. Idol Ship. Sigma to Starbase? Yeah, Sigma to Starbase actually uses, could use stuff. Um, orbital Replicators, Starbase Laboratory. Idol Ship. Um, hum, hum, hum. Hum, hum, hum. Go upgrade that, I suppose. <sighs> Command ship, 12 turns. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's kind of... It's whatever. It's not... <laughs> it's whatever. We'll just roll with it. It's all good. It's all good. And interceptors, whatever. Idle ship. Earlia Starbase... Sure, I don't care. Interceptors, Recreation Center. Upgrade Starbase. This is the Viator Starbase? Up here, okay. Um, zero G and Railgun Rack. Okay. Well, I wonder how long this, this video is actually becoming at this point, but whatever. We'll just roll with it. gonna be it's gonna be like three videos until my first fleet forms at this point uh united planets proposes to organize a year-long celebration attempt to make the citizens of the galaxy realize how good they have it 10 percent approval bonus to all people um oh and a three percent tax no final vote no Surprised the Altarians voted against it, but whatever. Where's the Shalf Starbase at? Okay, Shalf Starbase is in the uh, danger zone. Starbase defenses, advanced Starbase defenses. Idle ship. Get up there to Shalf. Wonder how many turns it'll take it to get there. I don't really care though. Um. Okay. I don't think, well, I was going to say I don't think I could build a starbase here that would cover both of them, but I can't build a starbase there in the first place because of um, the Iconians building a starbase in my territory. That thing that they just constantly do. What's that? Cultural relic? Eh. Just go over there, I don't care. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised in one sense that they got that, and then on the other hand, I'm just kind of like, no, it's to be expected how fast my ships go. Deep Space Starbase? Yeah, let's send it over there. Idle ship. Okay, I guess they're making it in one go. The Altarians are so not capable of fighting me at this point. They've got no hope. Colonize the planet? Sure. This planet is populated by a species of gigantic subterranean insects that are thankfully normally not hostile to us. Our scientists have identified that the walls of their nest are lined with rare minerals which we could potentially excavate. This will not please the scorpions. Um, what are your orders? Um... Let's go with the manufacturer one. What's this? Influence and wealth? Shame. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Uh, and buy that one outright. How am I on money at? Oh, I'm pretty good on money. <laughs> Look how slow their silly ships are. Although it is noteworthy that they use missile weapons, and I basically field zero defenses against missile weapons. Upgrade Starbase. Shelf Starbase. Barrier Array. Force Field Projector. Research. 
By manipulating materials at the level of individual atoms, we can now construct things of unparalleled precision and complexity, which has massively expanded our industrial capacity, along with creating an entirely new class of pretty terrifying workplace safety issues. Eh, that's what OSHA's for. Alright. Um... Where were the other engineering? Carrier focus, they were underneath engineering, okay. Interceptor drones? <laughs> Allows for the construction of cheap and light interceptor drones. Allows for the construction of cheap and light guardian drones. I don't know what the difference is. Guardian drones, whatever. I'm almost positive that's not what I want, but whatever. Well, that one. Guardian drone sounds, like, defensive in nature. There? We are in trade. I'm sorry. Are they asking me? Okay, they're giving me the credits. Cancel. <laughs> Back. Yeah. No. Not happening, friend. Not happening. Pulse cannon. Accelerator. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You want me to give you four of my antimatter and you're going to give me an insignificant? You're going to give me what, like... A fifth of what I make per turn? How much antimatter do I even have? Which one of these is antimatter? That one's antimatter. I have 16, still. Still, up yours. These tough little drones will guard our support and capital ships to the end, and when they are destroyed, no lives are lost. High capacity carriers. Idle ship. Aurelia Starbase. Kind of doesn't need anything. Uh, what about the McConnell Starbase? The McConnell Starbase actually does need some stuff. And Trade Station, Trade Center. Turn. I like that my turns are significantly shorter now. Which helps since a massive amount of this video was taken up by the... Um, <laughs> the ship design. The ships that I'm never going to be able to build. Look, one of my shipyards are idle. Tee hee! Edit sponsors. Does Viator have a starbase? Pinra also has a starbase. Although I don't know why that starbase is called Ash Starbase. Alright, what I'm going to do is manage, shut down, decommission, yes, let's decommission the shipyard. We'll have the Notaro 3 focus on the Viator shipyard. Edit sponsors. Okay. Yeah, it seems like a better option. I should probably look into consolidating several of my shipyards at this point. Probably a good choice all around. <laughs> Extraction center, resource sector. There we go. Turn? Yeah, I think for sure we want to kind of consolidate our star base, or our star shipyard construction. Where is Shelf again? Alright, Shalf is here. Zero G scaling orbital replicators. Research. Thanks to our latest generation of fighters designed to be more compact and packable, along with more efficient repair, reloading, and recovery facilities, we've been able to greatly improve the carrying capacity of our carriers. That's good, I suppose. Um Is that it? No more um carrier construction? Interesting. Alright. Well in that case Industrial Mastery. <laughs> Or do I want quantum power? Let's go with industrial mastery. Ah, 
Military manufacturing, social manufacturing. Let's go with military manufacturing. McConnell Starbase still needs love. We're gonna cancel the construction of that one, and then we'll, yeah. It'll ship. Sigma to Starbase? Yes. Interstellar Collectors, good. It'll ship. Shelf Starbase. And the Altarians are all still, like, in my way. Which is still annoying. Um, what's that planet? This one? Yeah, it's the one I recently got. Bye. There we go. McConnell Starbase. Interstellar Collectors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now that I'm not spitting out builders like it's the end of the world, uh, my turns are going a lot slower. How fast are their fleets? Um, eh, moderately fast, I suppose. Yearly a shipyard. Yeah, we'll kill the Dangler shipyard. Um, Yulia can get... No, Rezev's already sending up to the that shipyard. Fandir Nightshade will uh, assist the <laughs> this one here. Not well, though. Actually, what's going on on Fandir Nightshade, just out of curiosity? Fandir Nightshade? is largely a, um, how much does this cost? Oh, that costs a lot. Alright, let's not do that again. <laughs> let's not do that again. Idle ship. Okay. That one's pretty good. What about that one? That one's also pretty good. Should I make one for, yeah, let's make one for, uh, Fandir Nightshade. Which is a very unfortunate name. Uh, economic ring, starbase factory, zero G scaling. There we go. Whew. Master military assembly. Shipyard idol. This is the Aurelia shipyards. All right, edit sponsors. Uh, where is Silian? Kylian. Right there. Yeah. Okay. We will snag that for uh, Aurelia. No, 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 not McConnell. Remove McConnell. Where is McConnell? McConnell's up there. Okay, we're also going to snag up the McConnell star rate, uh, planet too, then. Now the next question is, where is... Oh, no, I'm already at 5 out of 5. Okay. Still, where is Gurnia? That's Sinta. Sinta. Eh. Well, yeah, actually, where is that? That's Dengler. Okay, you know what? I don't care. We're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna roll with it. Build a battleship. And build a command ship, too, while we're at it. Ash Shipyard. Pinra. Um, how long will... Okay, it'll take them forever, so let's decommission this one. Shipyard Idol. This is Titan. Where is Titan located at? Uh, edit Sponsors. Firefly, Nysund, Irresponsible. It would be cool if there was a way for me to, like, see where these places are. Where is Irresponsible? Nysund is there. Titan's there. Firefly is there. Where is Irresponsible? Irresponsible is all the way down there. Okay. So 
Sigmatus. I just cancel the construction here. Decommission this one. Uh, edit sponsors. Sigmatus should be an option now. All right. Build me two cruisers. All right, things are looking a little bit more up at this point now. Go upgrade the McConnell Star Base too while we're at it. Um, barrier array, force field projector, idle ship. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have scrapped that starbase. Edit sponsors. Pinra. Pinra and shelf. I guess I'll build a starbase up here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Who cares? And command, build a shipyard. Hagen, Rorsus, Kaganasu, Pult, and Zygspigavin. There we go. Although we're going to shut it down so that the... Uh, the other places work. And edit sponsors. Good, we're good on this one. All right. Can I get? can't get any of these planets in uh, in with one star base, which is a shame. We'll just build it here then. Command, star base. Economic, factory, zero G scaling. Turn. Uh, oh good, another instigator. One of our United Planet Diplomats reports that a worker from the facility division of the UP headquarters claims to have placed eavesdropping devices throughout the building and that he's willing to provide access to them to the highest bidder. Uh, okay. Uh, this is outrageous. Diplomacy cannot be effective when both parties act in such bad faith. Turn this figure into the council. Diplomacy and influence bonus. This might be a trap, and even if it isn't, when those bugs are discovered, we don't want to be anywhere near them. Expose this fool to the council, then lobby f them for reward. Either an important chair or additional influence on key matters. Approval. This is an opportunity which cannot be passed up. In exchange for access to the bugs, give the villain whatever he wants. Then give him a bit more to keep him quiet. Then kill him, just to be sure. Let's go with that one. Because I think it's funny. <laughs> Alright. What? The ship's just all the way over here. Explore. All right, Christina. We are just gonna decommission this starbase. Shipyard idle, Sinita. We are gonna also decommission this starbase. Shipyard, again. Edit sponsors. Get rid of that one and put uh, Sinita on. Okay. Oof, that was my ankle popping out of position. Metal ship. Zephlum Starbase, sure. Um, the Viator Starbase still needs upgrades, so... Is this... Okay, this has full sponsors. 
Zephlum Starbase, Accelerator, um, Particle Beams, sure. All right, the Zephlum Starbase does not need additional upgrades at this point. The Viator Starbase, however, does. Interceptors, sure. Um, and turn. This will be my last turn of this video that's been going on probably way too long. Eh, my credits per turn are 888. Check that out. We're slowly eking out the last po possible efficiencies out of our military manufacturing process. Our civilization is now essentially a war machine itself. Well, that's cool. Um, quantum power, I guess? Integrated research? Deeper knowledge. Neuro linking. Lossless farming, xeno irrigation, bio replication. Atmosphere cleansing. Let's get that one. I've been wanting that one for a while. Shipyard idol. This is Dengler. Where's Dengler located? Alright, we're gonna kill this one also. This, uh, edit sponsors. Dengler. Kylian. Gurnia, sure. I still don't know where Gurnia is. <laughs> like, I just don't know where that place is. Build me a cruiser. Edit sponsors. Made. Um, Ugino. And Christina. There we go. Makes things a little bit better, I suppose. Alright, idle ship. Sure. And... Zero-G scaling, orbital replicators. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that turn. Alright, folks. I'll end my video once it allows me to, you know, once everybody else finishes their turns. Um, meanwhile, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I wonder how long this video actually ends up being at this point. Um, seven times the charm. <sighs> sure. Alright, folks, I will see you guys later.